Fury just offered AJ 60-40. We offered Fury 60-40 loads of times to fight AJ. And he said, no, it has to be 50-50. This is when he looked, when he drew with Wilder the first time. Yeah. And AJ was the champion. He said, I will only take this fight at 50-50. Mm. Right? So sometimes in negotiations, you have to give a little bit. Yeah. And those are the words of Eddie Hearn. As you heard him say, talk about <clears throat> negotiations between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. And how Tyson Fury didn't want 40-60. He wanted 50-50. And <clears throat> as you guys can tell, I think that's what's causing it. I really don't know, honestly, because I, we don't know if Team Usyk has received a contract yet. And I think it's important to see things through. Like, at least don't hear what someone has to say before sending a contract. But then again, maybe they're thinking like, okay, well, if they're saying that they only want 50-50, there's no need to draft one, maybe. I'm not sure. But keep in mind the importance of receipts. Okay, people, you have to think about what people want <clears throat> and what people wanted you know and you can make a decision on if they're being reasonable or not okay so if Tyson Fury himself wouldn't take 40 60 in favor of Joshua you know <clears throat> how why would he expect Usyk to counterpunch right because you said that oh no I won't take anything um, and that was years ago. That was back when Tyson Fury, that was when he had the draw with Deontay Wilder. And it just shows you how delusional people are. This was five years ago, right? This was like, bro, this was when he came back and he fought Safari and he fought Pianetta. Then he had a draw with Wilder. And then Wilder wasn't anywhere near 50% or whatever. So why would he think he would be ready for 50%? Uh, why would you think you would ask for that much? You know what I mean? <clears throat> In my mind, they should have offered Tyson Fury a um, <clears throat> uh, a set deal. You know, but Tyson Fury was always the guy, though, for Joshua because he was that other unbeaten British champion. He was just in recess or really got stripped of those belts because due to his outside, you know, um, problems he had out of the ring. So, you know, he was that guy when Joshua beat Klitschko and Joshua was at calling everybody wanted him to fight Fury and Wilder was right there so you know you had all these champions they were talking about one champion you already had a champion there so it's like okay wow all right <clears throat> so what do you really have with that situation you know so I think at the most part but no just checking in on in with you guys and reminding you guys that once upon a time Tyson Fury wanted 50-50 and he hadn't beat anybody okay yeah they both beat Vladimir Klitschko they did but then it's like all right <clears throat> you fought the guy that Joshua didn't fight you made a draw with him but then you wanted 50% as well you know which I don't think it's a bad thing therefore it's not a bad thing that Usyk wants 50-50, right? Because it's all about fighting because both guys have fought guys, right? And defeated guys that the other guy, their rival, wanted to fight but didn't fight, right? <clears throat> so in this point, this should let you know how reasonable it is for Alexander Usyk to uh, want 50-50, okay? But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about this particular article or video by Eddie Hearn. Of course, please subscribe and you guys can counterpunch. Peace.